Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. Many learners in the beginning, um, they find it difficult to drive on the normal driving position. They are driving too far from the pavement because they feel they are too close to the pavement or they will hit the pavement. So because of that, they are driving too far from the pavement. Also, when they are stopping on the left, they are stopping too far from the pavement because they feel again they are too close or they will hit the pavement. Also, many they get confused on left and rights. So these are the three things I like to help uh, giving you some reference points to help you to get those positions right and uh, hopefully with the left and rights um, I just like to give you something so it will help you uh, next time when you drive. If you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and um, let's get to it. Now imagine this is a road and this is your car and you are driving one meter from the pavement that's your normal driving position so one meter from the pavement and you are driving on this road now many learners the the problem they face is that they are driving too far from the pavement and the reason is because they are looking front of their car or they are looking too near to the pavement or they are following the middle line when they should be following the pavement and looking around here, far ahead. If you look too near or front of your car, it will look as if you are too near to the pavement or you are hitting the pavement. So that's why you have to look far ahead and not following the middle line. You should be looking far. And for you to have a better position, it's best to have a reference point around on your dashboard around here that's where you would find the line you would see that's where you should be looking okay so around here find a reference point maybe around in the middle on your dashboard and just follow that as you're driving along on another road there are lots of parked cars so in this case you won't be following the pavement anymore you will be following the edge of the cars so your reference points is the edge of the car so you're not looking near again obviously so in this case you're not looking here you are looking around here edge of the cars and make a reference in the middle of your dashboard around there looking there so don't look at the pavement this time you're looking at the edge of the pa uh, edge of the cars and don't follow the middle line follow the edge of the car around here okay this time you are parking the car on the left now when you're parking your distance from the pavement has to be closer which means as you are parking don't look too far from the pavement this time this time you will be looking front of your car and closer to the pavement as you're coming in and as you line up look for the pavement closer and get a reference on your dashboard around here as you're parking so when you're parking look closer front of your car and when you're driving as normal uh, to keep the car one meter from the pavement look far not near and that's the difference so just to remind when you are driving normally and to get the normal driving position don't look too near to the pavement and don't follow the middle line look far ahead on the pavement and get a reference in the middle of your dashboard if you are parking on the left look front of your car and look near to the pavement as you're lining up and find a reference in the middle of your dashboard that's the difference now you are looking at from your normal driving position this is your normal driving position and that's how it looks from the place that you are sitting from your driving seat that's how it looks from your normal driving position so if you look at my pen like I said for the normal driving position don't look front of your car or don't look too near to the pavement and this is the biggest mistake the learners make they look too near front of their car 
and they look too near to the pavement. You should be looking far over there. So the pavement you're looking at is over there. That's the point you're looking at. And if you look over there, find that reference on your dashboard. So around here, that's where you're looking. This is your pavement and that's where you should be looking when you're driving. And this part of your pavement should be on your dashboard around here. And that's where you're looking for when you're driving. If you look too near, like I said, it will look you are hitting the pavement or you are too close to the pavement. You should be looking far ahead. Okay, about there. So find that reference around here. This is for you. That's the reference. So not front of your car, not near to the pavement. It should be far over there. You should be looking for normal driving. And if you are driving in a road where there are plenty of parked cars, so in this case, if you look at the road, so if there are lots of parked cars, this is the position you should be driving. And the position you're looking at is edge of your car, edge of sorry, edge of the other cars. So edge of the part cars should be here. Find the reference here, and that's where you should be driving. This is about a meter from the part cars. So if you look here, this is your normal parking position. This is how it looks from the place you are sitting, from your driving seat. This is how it looks. If you look at my pen and if you see front of your car around there and that's why you're looking for the pavement that this point there and find a reference on your dashboard around there okay so when you're parking bring the pavement this part around where it is now on your dashboard and that's perfect for your normal driving position so when you're parking you look front of your car and the pavement near to you, just that corner there. Not over there, because this will be for normal driving position. So parking position, you're looking near to your front of your car. The point, this is the point you're looking for. And this point should be trying to get a reference here. That's what you're trying to do. Is get a dashboard and find a reference, this point. And when you reach this point, that means your parking is good. Regards to this uh, left and right confusion, there are some learners who do get uh, confused with the left and right. And in this case, um, the, my advice would be, I am sure different instructors will give you different ideas and a different method, and I'm sure they work to solve the problem. But for me, the one works best is, I say, is to write L on your left hand and write R on your right hand. And every time you need to go left or right, uh, look at your hand and look at the letters and this should help you L for left and R for right. And every people of mine who had this problem, I told them to write those letters on their hand and you worked all the time. Uh, so this is one of them. Um, if this helps for you, um, do let me know in the comment. But if you have different ideas or different method which is working for you, please do share. Okay, that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and I will wait to hear from you what you think of the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you. Bye for now.